What's going on guys? This is JT here. In this video, we're going to be talking about the charms in Diablo Immortal. This is a very important topic because honestly, a lot of you guys out there are probably wasting your charms trying to get stats that don't even help you. Uh, I have uh, been a victim of this. I actually did this myself. I will not do it anymore until they either fix this or update it. So what I wanted to talk about is there's a lot of skills within each class that can give you a percent of damage that actually does not help you. Now, as far as what all classes skills, this does not help and whatnot. I honestly cannot give you that information. However, for barbs, I specifically know, and also for wizards, I know my man Ezrath did a lot of testing and I I know a lot of his skills did not help him as well. So one thing you'll see is you'll see at the top, sorry, my camera does block uh, the very bottom one, which is Sprint at 4% damage right here. So Sprint's at 4% damage. The one thing you can see though is we got Wrath the Berserker. It says plus 4% damage. We also got Undying Rage at plus 4% damage as well. Now, it is important to know neither one of these skills actually do damage, right? So it's not like your main skill, whether it's Frenzy or Lacerate, to where you can see the plus 4% actually adds to that damage. So what I was thinking, I was always like, you know what? Wrath the Berserker must just give you 4% damage just for having the skill right here on your bar, right? Undying Rage must just give you an extra 4% damage for having that skill right there on your bar. And even whenever you pull up the skills, you will notice, like it says right here, under Sprint, it says Charm, plus 4% damage. You go to Undying Rage, it says Charm plus 4% damage. The same with Wrath of Berserker, plus 4% damage. However, this actually does nothing. So even if you have it on your bar, it does not add any damage. If you use the skill, it also does not add any damage. So literally, it is a complete waste. I have tested this in every way possible. I've taken it off my skill bar. I've used it in battle, and I have come to find out that Having these three skills on a barb are 100% useless. However, Sprint does have an inheritance to where you can use Sprint, charge in, and deal out damage. Now, it does work towards that. So, I will give that credit. However, nobody uses Sprint in that format, right? So, like I said, it is completely useless. The same with Undying Rage. It does not add the 4% damage. And the same with Wrath of Berserker, which is kind of sad news because, honestly, as you guys can see right here, I got quite a bit of skill stones. And not only that, it took me a little bit of Platinum just to gain the 4% of Wrath of Berserker damage and also Undying Rage. Now... I could change those skills to something like cleave or something that actually does damage, right? Because then it would actually add the 4% damage. So I wanted to make this very clear. So whenever you are leveling up your charms, make sure you're leveling up uh, skills that actually do damage. That way it does affect them. Because if you level up like a buff or something, it literally does nothing for you. And you're basically just wasting your time, right? So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I have a bunch, man. I have so many Wrath of Berserkers, but it's like, I'm not going to actually use these. I'm just going to sell them over time in the marketplace and just sell them back, right? Because like I said, or I might just hold on to them until the game fixes it uh, to where this actually does work, right? As of right now, it's not working. So what we are going to do, though, is we're going to go ahead and roll over some whirlwind stats because if you guys don't know how this works is whenever you buy these charms, you have a five or a, uh, what is it? A 20% chance to land on what you want. Basically one in five, right? So I have a one in five chance of landing on Whirlwind. Once I actually land on Whirlwind, I then have this percent chance right here of getting a 2% chance or a 75% chance of a 2% bonus. We got a 20% chance of a 4% bonus and then a 4% chance for a 6% bonus and then a 1% chance for an 8% bonus, and a 0.5% chance for a 10-point bonus. So these these stats come into play after you land on the skill you want, because obviously I can still get a 2%, 4%, 8% on a skill that I don't need, right? So if I land on, let's say, 10%, then hopefully it's on the skill I need, because if not... If I land on, let's say, 10% on Demon Hunter right here, that would be absolutely useless for me. I wouldn't even accept it, right? So we're, we need to land on Whirlwind. Not only do we need to land on Whirlwind, but we also need it to be something above 4%. Look at that. Knife Trap, 4% for Demon Hunter. That is useless for us, though. 
Come on, baby. We need to see Whirlwind, and we need to get the RNG. Oh, oh come on, RNG, guys. Oh, man, 4% on Whirlwind. That is a big old feels bad. We're really hoping for that 10%. I actually haven't even seen a 10 Oh, I haven't even seen a 10% yet. All laps, obviously not, because I don't have one. But I haven't seen one for any class yet, to be honest with you. So I wanted to make this video especially for the people out there that just didn't understand how charms exactly work because that is relatively important. You definitely don't want to roll on charms that do not dish out damage because they're not helping your character in any way and you're literally just wasting your platinum away that you could be either selling these skill stones or doing something else with them uh, besides rolling them for things that don't help you in any way, right? Because that's useless. All right, come on, baby. We need to see some whirlwind love. Come on, whirlwind. Let's go, baby. Oh, I was going to say that looks good, but no, it does not. Punish with Crusader, 2%. No, thank you. Let's keep on rolling these whirlwinds. Come on, whirlwind. Show up for you. That looks good. Ah, oh, one too many. That's all right. It is 2% damage anyway. That is trash. All right, come on, whirlwind. Show up for your boy one time. That looks good. Oh, damn it. It just keeps on going, man. Command Skeletons for Necro. That uh, looks like we got a couple more Whirlwinds left. Come on, Whirlwind! Oh, keep going. Bone Spirits for Necro at 2% as well. We haven't even seen a 6% yet. Come on, baby. There it is. This is the one, boys. Oh, too many. All right, Grim Sky for Necro at 4% also. I am now out of Whirlwind, but that's okay because we got some Frenzy action. Let's go ahead and roll some Frenzies. Now, if I did land on a crazy good Furious Charge here, I would keep that, no doubt. So if this is like 6 or more percent, I would keep it. Just because I could change my then Wrath of Berserker to Frenzy or some other skill to Frenzy, right? So let's see. Come on, baby. We need Frenzy. No. Nope. Wave of Light at 2%. That is terrible. Let's keep on rolling. These are definitely not worth buying and rolling, especially if you're free to play, in my opinion. Only the massive, massive hell of heavy wells should really be doing this at this point in time in the game, in my opinion. If I was a player that cared about how much platinum I had at all times, I would definitely not invest in skill stones. I would... And if you do invest in skill stones, make sure you're investing in the right ones. But I would mainly be selling these skill stones on the market because they do sell relatively easy. Because anybody who is welling is definitely looking to get at least their... Uh... This actually might be a bad video for, for the players that are welling and buying up the free-to-play skill stones that are selling but not actually helping them. I never really thought of it in that sense. <laughs> But at the end of the day, you shouldn't be, nobody should be leveling their freaking skill stone and not knowing what they're doing, right? That's why I had to make this video because literally Wrath of the Berserker plus 4% damage, Undying Rage 4% damage, Sprint 4% damage, 100% useless for me, right? 100% useless. Tested it in Challenge Rift, Regular Rifts, trusted it in the open world. It does not help in any way. So yeah, if anybody does have some information about this that I did not go over, Feel free to go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below and I will go ahead and highlight that and pin that comment if I think it is valuable of uh, information that I don't have. Anyway guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video and I am out of here for now. Peace out fellas.